The Land Transportation Office calls anew on five local government units in Metro Manila to temporarily suspend the implementation of the no-contact apprehension policy until clear-cut guidelines are drafted to ensure its effectivity. But the LGUs have decided they will not do away with this policy. Karen Villanda tells us why. In a joint statement, the five local governments that implement the no-contact apprehension said their view is to continue the implementation of the policy in their localities. They thank the public sharing their sentiments on social media but stressed that the NCAP including the penalties therein was based on the local ordinances approved by the city councils. On the same day, LTO also released a statement reiterating their call for LGUs to suspend NCAP first until clear guidelines are given to motorists regarding violations. In today's forum, LTO brought this out. Yung mga, ang gusto namin lang na pag-usapan, yung gusto lang namin pag-usapan, yung technical aspect ng uh, 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 INCAP, tapos yung mga concerns ng LGUs sa mga transport sectors na nai-raise nila doon sa previous meetings namin. At saka yung balak namin, i-review yung mga data sharing agreement na napirmahan na ng LTO at saka yung POAS. Kasi ang purpose, ang gusto namin is to institutionalize the adjudication process. Kung pwede, pare-pareho lahat para hindi makonfuse yung mga, no, mga motorist. The Quezon City Traffic Management Head said this is still not a reason to suspend the NCAP. He insisted that from the previous 700 violators recorded per day, such violations have been reduced to 100 when NCAP was implemented in Quezon City. Uh, there's no need for suspension. Ano, dahil uh, once you suspend, uh, mapalit naman tayo sa dating uh, gawain ng ating mga motorist at nalar in the uh, flagrantly violate the uh, traffic rules. So tuloy-tuloy uh, naman po yung pag-uusap namin with the LTO. In the middle of the disagreement between the LGU and the LTO, even the motorists also differ in their opinions on the matter. Napakataas na ba yung contact apprehension? Oo. Oh. Eh, hindi ka tulad nung dati, pag nahuli ka sa ano, may pakusapan mo ng ganito lang. O ano kasi, kaya ayaw nilang suspindihin yan. Marami silang mga, mga bagay na tinatama natin na magkakaroon. Ha? Baka sila magkaroon. The Metropolitan Manila Development Authority will join to tackle the issue of no-contact apprehension policy. They are not in favor of doing away with the NCOP because it is a good for the safety of motorists. In fact, the head for special operations of MMDA is even in favor of implementing the NCOP nationwide. Mas mabuti po kung uh, nationwide po implemento, lahat ng siyudad po, eh, kung ma-implemento uh, mas mabuti. Para sa ganun po, uniform po tayo, no? Karen Villanda for The Nation.